Hello everyone, today we'll go over how to copy files to Linode object storage using GSH Copy 360 Enterprise. First we log into the portal of Linode and then we click on object storage. Then we need to create a bucket if we don't have if you don't already have one. We give that bucket a name, it needs to be lowercase and it needs to be unique. So in this case, we're just going to say call it GS demo bucket one. And then you select the region. We're going to select New Jersey, uh, Newark, New Jersey, but they've got multiple regions. So we're going to say create bucket. Now the bucket has been created over here, GS bucket one. So the next thing we need is our access code. So we're going to click on access code here and say create access code. In this case here, um, access Linode GS copy. Uh, you could limit the access to whichever bucket you want to have access to, or you could just keep it wide open. In this case, we're going to give it full access to all the buckets. Click create. Now it gives you the access key and this uh, secret key. You're going to make a copy of both. So we're just going to go ahead and make a copy of it somewhere. This is just for the demo. Of course, these keys are going to be removed after the demo, but just to kind of make it easy so you can see, you can follow along. I've copied it. So this is the only time you can see this secret key. So make sure you make a copy of it. If not, just create another key or so forth. So now that we've created the key, we go back and the last thing we need is our S3 endpoint. So our S3 endpoint would be this right here, US-East1, Linode, whichever comes before the bucket name or after the bucket name. We paste it. Now that we've gotten all the information we need from the portal, we go to GSH Copy 360 software. We go to the Jobs tab, and then we want to create a job. So we can right-click and say Create a New Job, or we can click on the New Job button down here. We're going to skip the wizard, and we give the job a name, Copy to Linode Object Storage. Now we go to the, where it says Source Type. This is where we're going to copy from. Now, in this case, we're going to copy from a local disk just to keep it simple. But if you wanted to copy from another cloud provider or another Linode S3 bucket or whatsoever, you just select the cloud provider that you need to copy from. So in this case, we're going to specify the source. The source we have to, we can either paste the path in here or we can browse to it. We're just going to browse to it, see demo, click OK. I'm going to check the box that says a copy as root folder. This is basically when you check it, it's going to create a folder called demo on the destination. If you don't check it, then it will just copy what's below demo. Otherwise, this way, we're just going to create demo and copy the content. I'm going to copy files instantly. And then we go to the destination type, which is where we're going to copy from. We're going to select S3 compatible storage. Before we click browse, we want to specify the credentials, which is the access keys that we've just generated. So we can click on the add sign. Here we're going to give it Linode account, just a label. Now we specify the S3 access key. So I'm just going to copy and paste. I'm going to copy secret key. And then the S3 endpoint. Now, if you have any settings to change, you would change them here. Uh, these default values work fine with Linode. So we can click on test, to test those credentials against the endpoint. It tested successfully. We click OK. We click Save. Now those credentials are saved in our credentials library. We can use it in this job and we can use it in future jobs as well. So we don't have to keep specifying those access keys every time. Now we can click on the Browse button. It's going to use these credentials. We say this bucket here. It is empty. 
So we're going to go ahead and check the box for that's what we're going to copy to. We set all the other options if we need to, like if we want to say copy changes only, mirror, copy all, or so forth. Copy changes only, it's going to copy everything if the destination is blank because there's not, it's going to copy everything over, basically. Uh, then we can set the job to start at a specific time. We can set it to repeat at a certain schedule, like daily, hourly, every few minutes, however way you, do, you know, a week of the day. And then if we check the box that says run the job as a service, what that means is the, jo the job is going to run according to schedule, even if the software is not open or you're, you're not logged in. So it's just going to run in the background. For simplicity, we're going to go ahead and go with these options. Uh, we're going to use four threads. We can increase the number of threads, which is basically how many files we can copy simultaneously. So we're going to go ahead and click Save. Now the job is being created, and we can run the job. So we can go ahead and right-click on the job and say Start. Select the job. It's queued. If we click on where it says queued here, it's going to show us a progress screen. The job should start momentarily. It started, detected three, 33 files. It started the copying process. It's doing 22 megabytes per second. This is going across the internet. Uh, to get megabits per second, you time this by eight. So three times eight is 240 megabits per second. The job is copied. The job is completed. It's 33 files detected, 33 files copied. And if we click close, it shows here green bar. Green bar means we encountered no errors whatsoever. If we, if, it, if we do encounter an error during a job copy, then we would switch to red. Red means we encountered at least one file that didn't copy. If you want to find out more details, you click on the log file here. Under errors, it will show all the files that we couldn't copy and whatever reason may be, if we were able to tell you. And then you can correct those or rerun the job if the jobs if the files were let's say locked or being generated at the time you're copying them. If you want to copy files from Linode, you just double click on the job, so click on where it says source type, select S3 compatible storage, click on the drop down, select Linode account. Now we've got other cloud providers listed here. So you, once you click on it, you click on the browse button. And now you see this is the folder we just copied called demo. This is how you copy files to Linode and from Linode. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, reach out to support at kurasquad.com. We'd be more than happy to help you out. Thanks. Bye-bye.